time-lapse videos are a super cool way to show time, well, lapsing. <laughs> Let's chat some tips to help you get the most out of your time-lapse footage. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hershberger and you are watching DIY in 5, the show where we make tech simple enough that you feel comfortable doing it yourself, all in a video that's five minutes or less. Today, we're talking time-lapse. A time-lapse consists of many photos taken over time and put together in such a way that they appear to create a video where time moves much more quickly than it typically would. Think watching a flower grow or a sunset in a matter of 30 seconds. Some time-lapse can include hundreds or even thousands of photos, and the more photos you have to stitch together, the longer your time-lapse video will be. It's a really cool storytelling technique, and most cameras and smartphones today have a built-in time-lapse mode for you to play with. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's do some prep. The first thing you need to do is find an interesting location and set up your camera. You'll want to use a tripod to keep the camera steady and your shot locked off so you can better see the effect of the time-lapse. Remember that you might be there for a while, depending on what you're shooting. A good rule of thumb is that 30 minutes of shoot time equates to about 10 seconds of time-lapse footage. This varies depending on the interval you set, but more on that later. For now, just know that you should prep for a long shoot. So if you're shooting outdoors and it'll be cold, bring a jacket and maybe a thermos of something warm. Or some sunscreen and shade for yourself if it'll be hot. Also, think about battery to keep the phone or camera recording over a long period of time, and storage to capture it all. Kingston has the Canvas React Plus V60 card, which would work nicely for time lapses in capacities up to one terabyte if you need to stock up. Okay, let's start with smartphone time lapse. Most smartphone cameras already have a built-in time lapse feature, and if yours does not, there are many downloadable apps that can do the job as well. On iPhone, you can either film a time-lapse directly through the camera or stitch one together from your photo collection. And on Android, your native time-lapse mode may be called something different. Samsung uses the term hyperlapse, for example. How fancy. Bring a good phone tripod to hold things steady and a backup battery like we mentioned earlier. Next, it's time to set the interval you want to record at. For faster appearing passage of time, you'll want to set a larger or slower interval. One picture every 10 seconds will appear to move time twice as fast as one picture every five seconds. Choose what you think is best for what you're filming and how long you want the final product to be. Now, if you're shooting time-lapse on your video camera or DSLR, here again, most modern cameras have a time-lapse mode. Thank goodness. Back in the day, you would have needed to use something called an intervalometer, which is an instrument that regulates the amount of exposure the camera lets in at set durations between frames to get the same effect. Nowadays, it's typically much easier. Set up your tripod, check battery and storage levels, and line up the shot just so. Now, we'll want to set the interval of how often you want your camera to capture an image. Again, the larger slash slower the interval, the faster your time lapse will appear in its final form. Another tip for DSLR or video camera time lapse is to switch it over to manual focus so your camera doesn't auto adjust mid time lapse, which could be jarring. After all is set, press record and let it roll. Time lapse videos can be really fun and satisfying. I like using them to document my larger Lego builds, PC builds, and day in the lifestyle content. What are you planning to capture? Tell me in the comments. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for future tech tips. And bye for now. I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.